Hey, I'm Chris, and by popular demand and a lot of free time, I'm back with another collection of LumaFusion tips and tricks. So let's dive in. The first trick I'm going to show you is speed ramping. It's really popular, and you'll see it all over the internet. It's mainly famous for being used to slow down tricks in skateboard videos. So let's dive in. On a traditional editing program like Premiere Pro or Final Cut, you could do this with time remapping and keyframes, but for some reason LumaFusion doesn't allow you to use keyframes when adjusting the time, so we're going to have to do this the long way around. First I'm going to add my clip to my timeline. My timeline setting is 23.98 frames per second and the clip I'm using is 60 frames per second. I want the clip to slow down while he's in the air, so I'm going to make a cut just before he takes off and then move along and place another when he lands. Now I'll set the clip speed to 45%. As you can see, it just cuts in and it's not very smooth. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in to the end of the first clip, go back two frames, make a cut, go back two frames again, make another cut, and then again, and one more time. On the first cut, I'm gonna set it to 50%, and then 60%, then 75, and then 90. Now if you play this back, it should give a nice smooth transition into the clip. Now all I have to do is make those speed increments again, but in reverse on the other side. Now how smooth is that? It's not perfect, but it's a good start. You can always play about with the timings to see how it works for you. Next up, we're gonna create an RGB split title. To do this, it's really simple. Create an overlay title. Give it a nice name. So for in this case, I'll call it LumaFusion. Give it a good bold font. Duplicate it three times and place them on top of each other. Set the top layer to red, the next layer to green, and then the final layer to blue. Now on all of them, go to the scale and fit, select blending and set the blend mode to linear dodge. You'll notice that nothing's changed and we're back to where we started with the white text. That's because we need to now animate the red, blue and green layers. Simply go through frame by frame and adjust the X and Y positions every other frame. You could even mess with the scale ever so slightly, but make sure each layer above your original title's animations are different. Otherwise, you'll just be moving all the layers together and the effect won't be as good. Now my next tip is to avoid you getting into trouble. It's about sourcing music and sound effects for your videos, because as you know, you can't use any old song, even if it's for personal use, because that's breaking copyright law. So a few amazing services you could use are Artlist and Epidemic Sounds. I've left some links in the descriptions if you want to sign up and try them. Each one of these services allows you to download any track or sound effect for your project. Artlist allows you to use them anywhere, even for commercial projects, whereas Epidemic Sound has a tailored plan for personal YouTube channels. So to get these tracks or any sound effects in LumaFusion, you're first going to have to download them from their websites. 
open Safari and navigate to the website of whichever service you're going to use. Find your desired track and tap download. This will download your track to the download folder in the Files app. From here, you can copy it to the user media folder and from there on out, you can drag them into your timeline and use it without the risk of any copyright claim. To make things easier for yourself, I'd always recommend building some sort of file structure inside of the user media folder. That way you can always keep a tab and structure to all your content which makes it easier to work with in the long run. And if you need to clean up space on your iPad, you know exactly where it is. And finally, the last tip I'm going to show you today is the paintbrush transition. To do this, we're going to open up any drawing or painting app you can find. Now before you start painting, start a screen record. Wait 3-5 to five seconds and then let's begin. Start by zooming out a little. Select your brush and colour and then start painting the motions of your transition. You can do this as many times as you wish until you get the right one. They'll always be saved in the screen recording. Now change your brush colour to white and create the end of your transition that will be used to reveal the next clip. Once you're happy, stop the recording and head back to LumaFusion. Now it's just a case of overlaying the beginning and the end of the transition over the top of two clips, adjusting the speed and setting the blend mode to darken. And there we have it, a few more LumaFusion tips and tricks for you to play about with. So if any of these have been helpful, please leave a comment, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.